Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz. Today we are going to talk about things in my makeup collection that I have forgotten about. I don't really use, I don't reach for, you know, for one reason or another, but we're going to look at them. We're going to put them on my face. So I am totally blank right now. And I'll tell you why I don't use all these products. So I'm already primed. My skin is already ready to go. I put the Tatcha Silk Canvas on it because I don't have literally any other primer. This is the only one I use. I don't reach for anything because I don't own anything else. So I just did a huge declutter of all my half bottles of primer that I had just laying around that I wasn't using. I don't think I've used another primer in months. I just haven't felt the need. So we're going to go on with foundation. The foundation that I have that is, I think, the first prestige um, foundation that I ever bought. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. You know, I think that I bought this. This is in the shade 1N1 Ivory Nude. I think this is the second bottle of this that I have I bought because I went through the first one quickly because like I said it was the first prestige one I bought. I bought it in college when I didn't really have the money to buy it but I bought it anyway. I really need to get a pump for it. I hate pouring it out on the back of my hand. Oh, it's so messy and then this like top gets messy. That's like probably one of the reasons I don't really reach for it anymore because I have ones that are way easier to use. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of my NYX drop foundation because as you can see like my chest is spray tan and my face is not. I don't put um, tan on my face so I just add a little of this to get the color warmed up a little so that we're a little more accurate to my spray tan and uh, yeah I did not do a very good job mixing this but that's okay. It'll all blend out on the face here in just a second. But yeah, so I bought this in college as like my first prestige foundation. And it was good to me for a while. Um, until I get a little bit too into trying makeup. Because then I wanted to try all the foundations. I just remember this one being... A little bit I don't want to say cakey because that feels harsh yeah see now it just blends right in doesn't it um you know I think cakey is the word but that seems that seems harsh I think this foundation is just very dry it's very matte and so if you don't like this you wouldn't you, or if you don't like that in a foundation, if you're not looking for a, a more dry type foundation, you just wouldn't like it. It's just, it would dry your skin out so bad. And it goes on beautifully. It looks good on the skin when you first blend it out. It's just the wear on it. It dries down very, very matte. And it was very popular. I remember, you know, I probably bought this, my first bottle of it in 2017. And that was when, you know, everyone wanted the matte finish. You didn't want any dewiness. You don't want to be shiny. Highlighter only and the rest of your face is super, super matte. That's just how this one is a little bit. But you can see, you know, it looks nice on the skin. It has nice coverage. It's not like I would have to build it up a little bit more. You can still see my redness just a little bit. But it's good. I think that like this is a product out of these that I would continue reaching for. So then let's go in with some concealer. My concealer today is actually also the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Concealer. This is in the shade 1C, which is light cool. Um, I just remember thinking that this concealer didn't have a lot of coverage, which for me is 
very important because I do, you can see, I have dark circles under my eyes. It's just what I have to deal with, but it means that I need a concealer with a lot more coverage. And this one, from what I remember, doesn't, doesn't do this. I bought this, I think, because I heard like Laura Lee or maybe Tati, but definitely Laura Lee, like, talk about this concealer. And I was like, oh, if she likes it, maybe I'll like it. I like the foundation. Like, I should try it too. I don't think that I actually liked this concealer. And I think that's why I don't reach for it. But I don't remember. I don't, I could not tell you the last time I used this concealer. It seems like it blends out well. It's really not a bad color. It's weird that I got a cool tone and not a neutral one, but it's not a bad color. Blends nicely. It's pretty creamy. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't have bad coverage, but you can still see my veins pretty good right there. It is very brightening, and it's not like I'm just seeing it catch the light a lot, so it's definitely not too matte or anything like that. So I guess I sit on the, when I do this, I sit on the floor in my bedroom and um, I just, my legs fall asleep. So I had to move a little bit, but. I mean, it blended out super well on the skin. You can just see the darkness really bad. Well, not really bad, that's a little dramatic, but you can just still see it a little coming through. So now I can't forget, one of the things that I never reached for when I was going through my drawers to get out the stuff for this video, I, I remembered that I wanted to point this out because I've had this and I've used it maybe four times, but I had to have it, you know, because everyone, because the Farcelli Jelly Bean. Didn't everyone have to have this in the shade Glazed? I mean, oh, look. Oh, you guys, it looks so gross. I just remember getting this and being like, now what do I do with it? Because I tried, I remember trying to put it over powder like a lot of people had done and just being like, that doesn't look normal. So we'll just try it with our finger. And I know I'm gonna put powder over it. And I think that was the other thing too, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna just put powder over it. And then you're not even gonna be able to tell that it ever existed. I mean, it's pretty, I do look glazed, but I don't know. I just always thought that this, it's kind of a really pretty color, but it's, and it's so glowy, like I feel like a little light beam or something. We'll, we'll try the powder now and we'll see um, what happens. So for the powder that I never reach for, I use my powders. I really have like three that I rotate between and I use them all. I, I try my hardest not to waste powder, waste things in general, but this one has been sitting in my drawer unused for probably a year. And I know that sounds bad, but like, I know I don't like this one. It's the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Original, which for some reason, Original means it's powder like snow white. This is my second jar of this because I used to think it was good and I used to get it on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale when it was like super on sale. Ooh. Ooh. It is very like soft, but like, I don't know guys, <laughs> I don't know about this one, but so I used to get it when it was super on sale and that's why I would get it because I was like, oh, this is seems like such a nice powder. I've heard people talk about it. Flashback, Mary is in the building when you use this. I don't even wanna, look how white it is. I don't even wanna put it on my face. 
We're gonna though. Ugh. I don't ever remember having an issue with it as um, like just as a setting powder or keeping my makeup on or anything like that. But <laughs> it's just so white. Okay, so I don't have any other um, brow things either because I don't use anything with my, for my brows. Like, I mean, I use products, but I don't vary what's the products I use. I don't try new products. I use some combination of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, and the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel every day. That's it. That's all I use. So I'm just going to do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have brows. Um, they're just quick, easy, they might be a little messy, but whatever, we have brows on. So let's talk about eye product. I already put a little bit of powder just to set the concealer and I tapped out the um, creases on it. So let's talk about this eyeshadow palette that I absolutely had to have. Couldn't stop talking about it, needed it. My wonderful fiance ordered it for me and then I didn't use it hardly at all. This is the Morphe 35G Bronze Goals eyeshadow palette. I mean, the packaging is stunning. The inside, the color story, it's beautiful. I mean, you can see I used it like a little bit. Um, it's stunning, did, but did, did I need it? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> did I have to have it still? Clearly. Um, it's just, you know, I got it and it's pretty and all that, but the, f my problem with it a lot was the formula just didn't live up to the normal Morphe shadows. Like, a lot of the metallics in here were really hard. Like, you can see, okay, this one I clearly, like, stamped, but I've had to dig absolutely dig into the shadow to get it because it's like they they were pressed way too hard like this it's so they're not soft at all they are really 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 um just stiff almost like I can't well this didn't even Look, that's not even, you can't even see that one. Um, but these, and then they don't even look very good is the problem. Like they don't, like that is so weak too. Just because they will not come out of the pan. So, okay, I just remember I would get so frustrated with it because I would take a brush like this, like a little packing brush, and I would dig into the metallic to like, get pigment up well and then I would like pick some up and then I would spray this brush with fix plus so that it would actually go onto my lid because otherwise it getting color up out of these is <laughs> terrible this this is like the worst Morphe palette that I've ever tried which is so disappointing because I was so excited to have it because I love this like grungy gold and these like oranges and there's a couple pinks and like also these like black colors so I was like, this is a useful palette. I can take this places when we go on like summer trips up um, in Northern Michigan and stuff like that. Like, perfect. No. So we're gonna try it today. I'm not gonna do anything um, crazy with this because I have a couple other eye products that I'm gonna tell you guys about that I don't reach for. So first we're gonna just go into this one as a little bit of a transition. We're just gonna see that picked up like that went onto the lid so easy and it blends out well. So like the mattes in here aren't a problem. And I have reached for it a couple times just to use the mattes out of it if I want some of the brown bronzy browns out of it but see 
it's really pretty. It blended, but it's just, you can't, it's hard to justify buying a palette. And yeah, Morphe palettes are cheaper, but this was still like 35, 36 bucks. So can you really justify that to get a bunch of crappy metallics and nice mattes? Like, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to go into a little bit of this darker one just to get right here on the edge, just to deepen it up a little. But also the thing is, is I think there's more, I haven't counted or anything, but I'm pretty sure there's more shimmers in here than there are um, mattes. So you're going to spend all this money on a palette that's at least half shimmers and then what? Not even be able to get full use out of them? <laughs> that's why I said some of these products are ones I actually like and I don't know why I don't reach for them anymore. And then other ones... I just I'm now really remembering that I don't like them. They're just not very good. So then we're going to take this more um, red brown shade and just do a little bit of that as well. Oh, I should tell you I'm using an M, a Morphe M505 to do this matte work out here. I like Morphe brushes a lot and a lot of the and Morphe setting spray is just like the best but it's really frustrating that a lot of their shadows you can get are so good and a lot of them just aren't. a lot of them are really bad so then I'm gonna take this M231 it's just this little baby and I'm gonna go back into the first shade and just run it under my oh, the bottom of my eye here now that I'm looking more at my under eyes because I'm working with them, they look a little crepey, which is frustrating because that's not really a problem that I normally have with my under eyes. So my under eyes, they don't have, they're not particularly dry. I do have a few like fine lines, but that's not, I don't feel is the problem here we're currently facing because they just look super super dry so let me bring you in here see how like crinkly this is that is not normal I wouldn't say that's um particularly normal for my under eyes yeah you can kind of see it even when I smile that they're really I don't like that. I really think that, though, that's the powder. Um, I don't think that that's because of the concealer. Because the concealer looked so, like, creamy and hydrating before I powdered it. So, I don't love that powder. I just don't. Okay, that's all I'm using out of this. I don't want to try to get those shimmers to work. They're not, they're not a good time. Besides, I have something else that I want to talk about. I forgot that I had, I literally forgot that I had this product until I was watching, um, Samantha Ravindahl. No, I was, well, she talks about these products too, but specifically I was watching a Jessica Braun video and she mentioned having heard about this product from Samantha Ravindahl. So that's where I got all that information, but it's the Hourglass Scattered Light. This one is in the shade Aura. It's, the, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. It's like a rosy gold color. I just, I remember it, it looks, this is one of those things that looks beautiful on the eye. But it's a little dry. Very soft though. But, you know, I just, I'm sticking my finger in here. I'm swirling it. It just, oh, I forgot. It looks beautiful once you swatch it. It's very eye-catching, but it just, it's hard to get it out. I'm just being honest. So what I'm going to do and what I have done, you can see there's like a dent in it because like I have to dig into it. 
like how I was talking about with the metallics in that um, bronze goals palette, you have to kind of dig into them and pick it up and spritz it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just dig it up. It's supposed to be like a gel consistency. Mm, maybe I won't spritz it. Maybe it's not as dry as I remember it being. But I can get a put a bit up on the brush. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. But, you know, I kind of just forgot about this product for a long time. It's pretty. Because I have so many ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Because let's be honest, they're $5. And they are the same or better than this. A bunch of fallout. I mean, I did get a lot on my brush. So that's probably more my fault than anything. And it looks absolutely beautiful on the eye. It's, it does catch the light. I Scattered lights is definitely the thing to call it. But, I don't know. I feel like I have a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that is literally the same color and tone and effect as this. This is beautiful, sure. Could I have just spent $5 and gotten the same thing from ColourPop? And the jars that those come in are so much easier to use because they have a lot bigger of a surface area. So your finger fits on them really well. They come up very easily. They're always very creamy. So I'm having a harder time now getting some up for this eye. And this probably would apply better with a finger, but I can't get it out of the jar. Um, I'm also going to take, oh, so this little packing brush uh, is my favorite because it's kind of thin. This is an M124. I'm going to go back to this M213 and just put a little bit in the inner corner. I mean, it's pretty. I just need to remember to use it so I can get, not get rid of it, but like move on from it, I guess, is my my word that I should use there because I don't want to get rid of it. It's beautiful. It's just, would I buy another one? No, probably not. So then in the same vein of like fun glittery eye things that I forget that I own, I always forget that I own a thousand of these little Stila glittering glows. So this one is in the shade Kitten Karma. Oh, it is really pretty. I'm so mad that I forget about these because these are gorgeous and I do have a ton of them. And the thing is, you really got, you really have to use them because they dry up. I'm shocked this one hasn't. You can see how beautiful and chunky this glitter is. I love it. I do love them. So I'm just going to put a little bit kind of just in the center of my eye just for a little bit of extra sparkle. Just to kind of enhance the shimmer on the eye. I'm going to put just a little bit under here. Perfect. See, and this is, now this is way brighter. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So now we're going to use the rest of the face. I'm going to finish powdering it. I'm going to take this big fluffy J H01 from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collaboration. I love this brush. It's so big. It's so fluffy. I just feel like now my face has a white cast to it because like that did not look like this or that originally. And also we put on all that highlighter. You can see it a little. It definitely glows a little. But not as much. That's why I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Maybe we'll try to put it on top of the powder again and see how that goes. Because I, otherwise, I honestly have no idea how I'm supposed to use that jelly bean highlighter. I just really don't. Okay, so for bronzers, I, my bronzer 
I completely forgot about is the Hula Benefit. I have this little baby one that I got out, but it's a beautiful color. I don't know why I don't use it. I think I just have other ones that I like. I'm super into um, like my Marc Jacobs one and I have a Kylie Cosmetics one that I'm liking right now. And so I just kind of forget about the OG Hula bronzer. The reason they're easy to forget about. I feel like this is a product that a lot of people don't constantly use but they do go back to it. Like I feel like in other videos that I've seen like this, that people um, are like, oh yeah, I own this. It blends beautifully. I mean, how easy was that? I'm already nice and bronzed up. And that took three seconds. I really should use this more. Oh, this big fluffy bronzer brush that I love is the M527. It's just, a nice shape for my face because it kind of just tucks right here really easily okay so for blush this is I think the first prestige blush that I ever bought and now I never use it but it's the urban decay afterglow blush in the shade video it's a very like neutral peachy color you can tell I mean it's got a pretty good divot in it. I definitely loved and used it back in the day. So this is a nameless brush. I have no idea. Maybe it's an Eco Tools one. I have no idea. I've had it for a very, very long time. I don't know why I stopped using this. I think I just started trying other blush colors. It's pretty. It goes on really easily. Pigmented. I keep forgetting to use my mirror to make sure and looking good close up but it does and it has a little bit of a sheen to it like I feel like this is very skin like right here now because of this blush it's a very like natural blushy color like it's not because it's not overly pink and it's not overly warm so it's just could just be my cheeks <laughs> who knows let's try this Jelly Beam again over powder. I really have um, no hopes that it's going to look cute because I know the last time I tried to do this, it just lifted the powder. We'll see. See? Okay. Look at that looks so bad. How do people do this? You guys can see that. Like it just stopped. Blending. Oh no. Oh no. That was so bad. Because it just, the second it touches powder, it just dries up. Look, now it looks like I have a bruise right there when I look straight forward. Oh no. I was going to film another video and now I look crazy. Well, I'm going to do it to the other side, I guess. Okay, let's try. See, the second it hits the powder, it's done. It's just done. That side looks a little bit better, though. It looks better. I think it look, ends up looking a little bit better on camera. But again, it has that cast, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. How do we save it? I just don't think that you do. I'm not putting anywhere on my face because we'll just go back there. So now that I remember that I have it, maybe I'll try it some other way because I don't know. I do have another highlighter though that I kind of forget that I own. <laughs> Even though it's a great highlighter, it actually is so good. I just, I don't reach for it. So this is a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby. It's beautiful. It's like a gold with a slight peach shift to it. It's gorgeous. I don't, I could not tell you why I don't reach for it. So I'm going to take the bigger M501. <laughs> Try to save my cheek a little. Just to blend this out. 
Oh, it didn't help. <laughs> That's okay. At least we have a really nice shift. We're blinding though. We are blinding. Okay. You guys, I am really bothered though by my under eyes. Look at, like, that's not, that's not normal. I hate that. Oh no. I think we just have lashes now and we're done. So the lashes I'm going to put on real quick are these House of Lashes, the original Boudoir lashes. They're so pretty, rounded, so cute. So I don't have a mascara. I only keep one mascara at a time and just work through it because uh, mascara goes bad and it makes me nervous and I wear lashes every day. So I don't have a mascara to talk about. So I'm just gonna put these lashes on real quick. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up doing lips too, but I wanted to tell you guys, I do really like these lashes. I do kind of need an eyeliner with them, I think, just to make them look a little bit more blended. But I haven't used these eyelashes in a while because I'm more into like the tapered ones right now instead of these like rounded ones. But the rounded ones are really pretty. These ones are pretty. These are one of my favorites. So then for lips, I ended up using this um, Tardist Magic Wand Lip Liner. Yeah, but it's just like a little retractable lip liner. It's pretty. It's not a color that I wear all that often, which is why I haven't worn it since literally the day I got engaged was a mistake because my fiance had this weird berry colored lipstick on him oops but of course I didn't know so there was no way I knew but I got this in like a Tarte mystery box besides I like it I would try other colors I just don't I don't love this particular color I topped it with a little bit of this KKW well it's Kylie XKKW, the original collab that they did. This one is the shade Kimberly. And it's a little, a little bit more of like a beigey color, like a beigey pink. I just put it on just, you know, to lighten it up a little bit. These are also so creamy and so comfortable and so easy to wear. The thing is, and this is why I don't reach for them that often. I, this is why I don't reach for them that often. They are not um, long wearing, but they are very comfortable on the lips, but they're also a very light tone. So you really have to know how to use maybe a lip liner or something with them to A, get them to stay and B, to make them a, a really nice color. Now that I actually, can do lip liner. I, cause I couldn't for a very long time. I didn't get it. Um, now I can use those a lot more often, but yeah. So let's do a quick recap. What am I going to keep using? What am I not going to use anymore? I think I'm going to keep using, um, both the blush and the bronzer. Now that I remember them, I'm going to put them at the front of my drawer because I think the bronzer and the blush is really pretty. Also the Fenty highlighter, a hundred percent. Like the glow on the parts of my face that aren't this one is incredible. Um, I'm going to reach more for these ones for sure. I need to, I need to remember to use them so they don't go bad. Um, I'll use the mattes out of this. I can't work that hard for a shimmer anymore. There's way too many good options out there to work that hard for a shimmer. I'm just hard pass. This 100%. This I'll, I'll give it a try again. Because I don't know what's causing my under eyes to look absolutely ridiculous. But this powder, I'm I'm throwing it away. It's not, it's bad. If I took a flash photo right now, it would be horrible. And I'm going to use these lashes some more. They are really pretty. I just, I forget about them. I get caught up in all my really pretty, like, tapered ones. And I forget that a rounded lash is also pretty. Like, I just forget about it. This lip liner, if I'm feeling a berry tone, sure. And these, um, and this 
KKW, X Kylie. I, I need to remember to use those two because I really do think that they're beautiful. So yeah, guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching my video and listening to me talk about all these things. Um, please subscribe and come hang out with me again. I would love it. Um, yeah, I put my Instagram and Twitter down below. So if you guys want to come talk to me, please do leave me a comment. You know, whatever I want to know if, you know, these products worked for you. Especially this because I want to figure out how to use it. So if you've used this tell me how you use it so I can try it because I just want it I want it to work I I have a whole one so yeah thank you again for watching I will see you guys next time bye